Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover plotting points on a coordinate plane. We will start by just taking a look at quadrant one, so we will only be working with positives. Then we will move on to plotting points within all four quadrants. So we will be working with both positives and negatives. Let's start by labeling the X and Y axis. Remember, the X axis is horizontal, so it goes side to side. This is the X axis right here. And then we have the Y axis, which is vertical, so it goes up and down. This is the Y axis right here. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have the coordinates five, eight. So this is our ordered pair for number one. Remember, the X coordinate always comes first, and the Y coordinate always comes second. So five is the X coordinate, and eight is the Y coordinate. If you forget that order, just think ABC order. X comes before Y. With 5, 8 being our ordered pair, this means that we go over 5 and then up 8. And we are going from the origin, which is at 0, 0. So that's where we start. Again, this is called the origin, which is at 0, 0. So we always start by working horizontally. So we take a look at the X axis. Our X coordinate is five. So let's go over five. And then we work vertically. So we take a look at the Y axis. Our Y coordinate is eight. So we go over five and up eight. So we plot this point right here. And I'm going to label it so we have 5, 8. And that's it for number 1. Again, over 5, up 8. Let's move on to number 2 where we have 8, 5. Now this is not the same thing as number 1. Order matters. 8 is now our X coordinate and 5 is now our Y coordinate. So we go over 8, over 8, and then up. Five. So we plot this point right here. So this is 8, 5. So you can see the difference there between numbers 1 and 2. Although we have the same numbers, 5 and 8, again, order matters. And we don't plot those points in the same place. Let's move on to number 3 where we have 2, 1. So over 2, up 1. 2 is the x coordinate and 1 is the y coordinate. So 2 and then 1. Over 2, up 1. So we plot this point right here. So again, 2, 1. Next, let's move on to number 4 where we have 4, 10. 4 is the x coordinate, so over 4, and then 10 is the y coordinate, so up 10. We plot this point right here, so 4, 10. Let's move on to number 5, where we have 0, 7. Now the x coordinate is 0, so we don't move over along the x axis at all, so we have 0. And then our y coordinate is 7. So we go up from 0 to 7 and plot this point right here. So 0, 7. Whenever you have an x coordinate of 0, the point is going to be right on the y axis. So something to keep in mind. Lastly, let's move on to number 6 where we have 3, 0. Now the x coordinate is 3, so let's go over 3, and then the y coordinate is 0, so we don't move vertically at all. The y coordinate is 0, so over 3, up 0, we plot this point right here. So this is 3, 0. 
So whenever we have a y coordinate of zero, that point is going to be on the x axis. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So there's how to plot points in quadrant one. Let's move on to plotting points in all four quadrants. Now let's take a look at all four quadrants. You can think of this as we are zooming out from quadrant one, so to speak, and now we can see and we will be working in all four quadrants. So we will be working with positive and negative coordinates. Let's start by labeling the x and y axis. This is the x axis right here. This is the y axis right here. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have the coordinates for seven. So this is our ordered pair for number one. Remember, the x coordinate always comes first, and then the y coordinate always comes second. So four is the x coordinate, and then seven is the y coordinate. With four seven being our coordinates, our ordered pair, this tells us to go over four and up seven. And we are going from the origin, which is zero, zero. So the origin, zero, zero, is right here. And again, this is where we go from, so this is where we start. So we always work horizontally first. So we take a look at the x-axis, and then we work vertically second. So we look at the y-axis. Four is the x-coordinate, so we need to go over to four on the x-axis, which is right here. And then we need to go up seven. Seven is right here on the y-axis. So over four, up seven, and we plot this point right here. And I'm going to label it, so we have four, seven. Let's move on to number two, where the x-coordinate is three and the y-coordinate is negative nine. So we need to start with the x-coordinate, so over three on the x-axis, which is right here. And then we need to go down to negative nine. Negative nine is right here on the y-axis. So we plot this point right here. So this is three, negative nine. Let's move on to number three, where the x-coordinate is negative nine and the y-coordinate is three. So this is different than number two. Order matters. Although we have a negative nine and a three, just like number two, they are not going to be in the same place. So let's start with the x-coordinate, which is negative nine. Negative nine is right here on the x-axis. And then three, we need to go up three. Three is right here on the y-axis. So over to negative nine and then up three. This point is right here. So negative nine, three. Let's move on to number four, where the x-coordinate is negative five and the y-coordinate is negative six. So let's start with the x-coordinate, negative five. Negative five is right here on the x-axis. And then we need to go down to negative six. Negative six is right here on the y-axis. So we need to plot this point right here. And this is negative five, negative six. Let's move on to number five, where the x coordinate is zero and the y coordinate is negative two. Now with the x coordinate being zero, we don't move right or left on that x axis from the origin. Zero is right here on the x axis. And then we need to go down to negative two, which is right here on the y-axis. So we plot this point right here, zero, negative two. And then lastly, number six, the x-coordinate is negative eight and the y-coordinate is 10. So we need to go over to negative eight on the x-axis, which is right here and then up 10, 
and 10 is right here on the y-axis. So we plot this point right here, and this is negative 8, 10. Now, as I went through these examples, I made marks on the x-axis and y-axis as far as where we needed to look in order to plot these points correctly. These marks are not necessary when plotting points. Again, I just put these on the x and y axis to show where we needed to look. So there you have it. There's how to plot points on a coordinate plane. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.